This is News 3 Now at 5. Thank you for staying with us. The number of positive coronavirus cases in Wisconsin is now pushing 4,000. We started tracking this data back on March 18th, nearly a month ago now. And right now there are 198 deaths in Wisconsin, including the first reported death in Richland County. Statewide, that's up 15 from yesterday. Milwaukee County with over 2,000 cases, 114 deaths. And Dane County, over 350 cases, including 17 deaths. Governor Evers has announced that he is extending the Safer at Home order for another month. And we have team coverage of the extension with what Wisconsin schools are doing now that students will not be going back to school, along with reaction from local restaurants that will remain closed. But first, let's start with Amy Reed, who has more on the order specifically. Amy? May 26th is the new end to the Safer at Home order. Governor Tony Evers said that he made this call because that's what science and public health show we should do. There are some modifications to the order, though. Golf courses can open again with some restrictions. Public libraries will now be allowed to do curbside pickup, as can arts and craft stores for supplies to make masks. Non-essential businesses will be able to do minimum basic operations like deliveries, mailings, and curbside pickup. Exterior lawn care or construction is also now allowed, so long as it's done by one person. Evers said he understands this isn't the news people wanted, but maintaining the flattening of the curve requires it. Can't think of this like flipping a light switch. It's like turning a dial. The more disciplined we are now, the faster we can turn it. Now there have been varying degrees of pushback by some business groups and Republicans. Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald said in a statement, everyone agrees that reasonable measures must be taken during a public health crisis. Health and safety are a priority. However, to extend this order for another month without a plan to reopen the state or clear benchmarks for an early expiration is simply unacceptable. He said these shouldn't be calls made by one person and he's going to start looking into legal or legislative relief to help the governor make these decisions. So some of Fitzgerald's colleagues in the Senate, though, are calling on DHS Secretary-designee Andrea Palm to be fired. Now to Gabriella Becerra, who shares how this extension on the order is affecting schools. Gabby. Amy, district leaders are still figuring out exactly what the rest of the school year could look like, but for most, it will mean continuing online instruction. Students began online learning shortly after the Safer at Home order was first issued on March 25th. Now districts, including Madison Metropolitan School District and Middleton Cross Plains Area School District, are adjusting their schedules. Although the buildings will be closed, they will follow their planned schedules as close as possible. Our plan going forward is that even if for some reason it, it, there was a superseding order or if it was lifted on the 26th, that we'll just finish out the year. It wouldn't make a lot of sense to have kids come back for a week or two yeah. weeks. Um, it's, and at that point, they've been doing online learning for eight weeks. We'll continue for a ninth and tenth week. Hibner says the district will try to postpone events if possible rather than just canceling. And some districts say they're already starting to plan for summer or fall review sessions to make up for some of the, loss, the unexpected changes that happened this year. Now to Adam Duxter, who's been figuring out what this means from an economic standpoint. Yeah, Gabby, just as much as the Safer at Home extension impacts students, it impacts the businesses that they and their families like to go to. And the restaurants here in the Capitol Square and downtown Madison are no different. Under the Safer at Home extension, they're being asked to up their cleaning efforts as well as limit the amount of people who come in and out at one time. Now, the Old Fashioned says they've been operating with limited staff since Governor Evers limited in-person dining about a month ago. And since then, they've adapted to using delivery delivery services like Uber Eats and DoorDash. They say while things admittedly have been challenging, their main priority is public safety. No amount of money is worth a staff person getting ill or a patron getting ill. So we completely trust Governor Evers and his decision because he's the guy who's got the scientific evidence and you know he's got the doctors speaking to him. But just as quickly as restaurants and parts of the local economy were shut down, experts say they won't be able to open up quite as quickly. Madison, Depart uh, Madison Chamber of Commerce President Zach Brandon says that will be a delicate balance between public health and the economy that could end up taking quite some time. All right, Adam, Gabby, and Amy, thank you very much. 
New White House guidelines outline a phased approach to restoring normal commerce and services, but only for places with strong testing and seeing a decrease in COVID-19 cases. President Trump unveiled his administration's plans to ease social distancing requirements on a call Thursday with the nation's governors. The new guidelines are aimed at clearing the way for an easing of restrictions in areas with low transmission of the coronavirus while keeping them in place in harder hit places. Places with declining infections and strong testing would begin a three-phased gradual reopening of businesses and schools, which each phase lasting at least 14 days. The wave of layoffs that has engulfed the U.S. economy since coronavirus struck forced 5.2 million more people to seek unemployment benefits last week. Roughly 22 million have now sought jobless benefits in the last month, easily the worst stretch of U.S. job losses on record. All told, roughly nearly 12 million people are now receiving unemployment checks. That's about matching the peak reached back in 2010, shortly after the Great Recession officially ended. If you are constantly checking your bank account, hoping to see that stimulus check in your account, you are not alone. Capital One, Bank of America, and Chase all experienced temporary problems. The IRS site called Get My Payment was telling some users their payment status was unavailable. The U.S. Treasury says no physical checks have been mailed out yet and warns that a process that could take months to complete. Governor Evers is telling the president that Wisconsin faces a $2 billion revenue loss due to the skyrocket rocketing unemployment and other hits to the economy caused by coronavirus. Governor Evers and governors from Michigan and Pennsylvania sent the president a letter asking him to urge Congress to send $500 billion in budget aid to states and local governments. Meanwhile, the governor and others are facing pressure to reopen their states. A rally was planned at the Wisconsin Capitol next week on the day that the governor's stay-at-home order was previously set to expire. A UW System Regents Committee has authorized employee furloughs as campuses grapple with the coronavirus pandemic's economic fallout. The Regents Executive Committee voted unanimously today to let System President Ray Cross develop plans for system institutions and UW-Madison Chancellor Rebecca Blank to develop a plan for the flagship campus. Regents President Drew Peterson said furloughs will likely be implemented on a rolling basis across groups of schools. Cross said after after the vote that he's already drafted a plan and would submit it soon. He said UW-Madison's plan is coming later, but he did not say when. There is a heavy police presence right now near Lodi. This has law enforcement continue to search for two inmates to escape the Columbia Correctional Institution in Portage this morning. Our Madeline O'Neill is at the scene in Lodi with what we know right now. Maddie? We're here on Connie Road K near the interstate near Lodi. It's where Lodi police are asking that the public avoid the area, but they aren't saying much else now. What I can tell you from what I've seen driving here, there were plenty of police cars scattered throughout the country. Now, when I got here and parked, there were about three police cars. Now you can see there are at least a dozen, uh, plenty of officers gathered over there. Some are in the field. There was a car out near the woods earlier. So clearly something going on, but we don't know that this is connected to the inmates escape. Now what we do know about the inmate escape from Columbia County Sheriff's Office, they say that 36, excuse me, 37 year old James Newman and 46 year old Thomas Deering escaped from the Columbia Correctional Institution around five this morning by climbing over two security fences and catching a cab to Poinette. Both of them have escape convictions for fleeing facilities in the past. Columbia County Sheriff Roger Brander says this is the first escape from the max security prison he can remember in his 30 years here. You know, it's a concern for all of us. It's a concern for law enforcement. It's a concern to the community um, that we have a, a maximum security prison here and, and uh, we expect the inmates that are inside of the walls to stay inside of the walls. Sheriff Brandner didn't know the inmates destination, but he said there were indications that they were heading south. Now, earlier today, the Columbia County Sheriff's Office put out a statement saying that they thought the inmates weren't in the county. Of course, now we're still in Columbia County near Lodi. Again, we cannot confirm that this is connected to the inmates escape, but clearly something is going on here. There are plenty of officers. I believe I saw at least one person putting on a bulletproof vest. They're looking through things here, so we'll definitely keep you updated. We'll be back uh, live at 6 again as well. All right, Maddie, we'll get another update next hour. Thank you very much. Another sunny yet rather chilly spring day. There could be some light snow near the state line overnight. Let's get our first word forecast. Here's Gary. Yeah.
Yeah, for the most part, I think the snow will stay south of the Illinois state line, but on visible cloud track, you can see after the sunshine we had today, the clouds are starting to roll in from the south and west, and you can see some snow across Iowa uh, into parts of western Illinois, some of that mixing with rain on the northern fringes of it, but it'll be moving almost straight east. That would keep it mainly across northern Illinois. Temperatures right now are in the lower to middle 40s here in Madison. We're at 43. Janesville still at 46. And as we check out the temperatures overnight, look for skies to turn cloudy. Again, some light snow mainly south of Janesville down toward Beloit. Uh, low temperatures dropping to around 31. For tomorrow, look for skies to become partly sunny. It won't be quite as chilly with a high temperature of 49. Still looking for temperatures in the upper 50s on Saturday and generally mild conditions for next week. I'll have more details and weather in a few minutes. Gary, thank you. The Beloit PD and Winnebago County, Illinois Sheriff's Department releasing the name of the man found dead in Beloit. Law enforcement says the man has been identified as 18-year-old Juan Lehman of Janesville. Officers confirm it is a homicide. According to officials, they found Lehman's body Tuesday night. This was in the 1600 block of Royce Avenue in Beloit. Officials say he was the victim of a targeted homicide. Detectives from both agencies are asking that if you have any information, to please contact the Beloit Police Department. The two 18-year-old men facing charges in the murders of a Madison doctor and her husband appeared in court via video call this morning. Melissa Kim joins us now. She has the latest update. Melissa? Yeah, hi there, Eric. Kari Sanford and Elijah Ralu are each charged with first-degree intentional homicide. The bodies of Dr. Beth Potter and her husband, Robin Carey, were found at the UW Arboretum on March 31st. Sanford was dating the couple's daughter, according to the criminal complaint. Also, according to the complaint, a friend told detectives that Sanford confessed to the shooting and said that LaRue was with him. The judge ordered the case's head to trial now. That date has not yet been set, Eric. All right, Melissa, thank you. And ahead on News Now at 5, a popular sporting event that brings celebrities and thousands to Madison has been canceled now. I'll tell you what it is. And coming up at 6, how a Wisconsin meat company is changing the way it serves its customers. That's ahead at 6. And a check of the markets on this Thursday. The Dow up 33 and a third. The Nasdaq with a strong surge of some 139 points. And the S&P jumps 16. We'll be right back. Get red hot savings with this week's hy V hot deals. Ground beef, only $1.99. Eight ounce pork chops, just 99 cents each. And Kingsford or match light charcoal, only $4.99. Save on these hot deals and more, only at hy V. Social distancing and family quarantines are a jarring reality for kids. It's a big adjustment. So it's important that we adults do what we can to help them navigate this new normal. Encourage your kids to ask questions and give them honest, age-appropriate answers. Show them things that they can do to regain some control. And above all, reassure them that their safety is your top priority. Now more than ever, SSM Health and News 3 Now encourage you to take time for kids. If your windows are more than 10 years old, they could be drafty, difficult to operate, or costing you money on your energy bill. The Champion family is here to help. At Champion, we design new windows specific to your home's needs. Then they are built in our very own factory, installed by a team of professionals, and guaranteed for a lifetime by our best-in-class warranty. And right now, get 40% off your new windows. Call now for your free estimate or learn more at GetChampionWindows.com today. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. Are you nervous about leaving your parents' phone plan? You got this, dude. <laughs> you could have... It's just a plan. No. Nope. Individual plan phobia. Plan phobia? Mm-hmm. We got your back. Switch to your own plan at U.S. Cellular and get $400 back. Plan phobia? Mm -hmm. They got your back. Switch and get $400 back. Only at U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Save with these hot deals and more at hy V. Powerade, just 49 cents. General Mills Family Size Cereal, only $2.88. A two-pound pack of strawberries, just $2.97. And hy V Cottage Cheese is only $1.48. Only at hy V. 
Tonight at 6, Wisconsin's Safer at Home order is extended. We're looking into what it means for local businesses and the UW system. Taking the first step to furlough employees, we'll have an update from a Regents Committee meeting tonight on News 3 Now at 6. Wisconsin voters deserve the truth. I'm News 3 Now's Amy Reed. I'm breaking down political ads, explaining whose money is behind them and separating truth from misinformation. Get the facts with Reality Check, only on News 3 Now. With the coronavirus pandemic, many sports seasons are being put on hold or even canceled. And today, American Family followed suit, announcing it will be canceling the AmFam Golf Championship this year. Our sports director, Zach Hanley, joins us with more on this decision. Zach? Well, last week, the American Farmers Insurance Championship was postponed, and there was that hope that they would get it rescheduled. Those dreams were dashed. The tournament now officially canceled, along with all the events during championship week. Alternative dates were looked at to play the tourney, but ultimately, the health and safety of everyone involved took precedence, but there is something positive to come out of this cancellation. There is a silver lining in this. Immediately, in partnership with the American Family Insurance Company, we are going to donate $2.8 million. One million going to the American Family Children's Hospital, 800,000 going back to the local charities that we supported at last year's event and the remaining money is going to a COVID-19 relief effort here in our state of Wisconsin. But we will be back. We'll be back stronger and better than ever in 2021. $2.8 million right back in the community to help those in need. And you have the option to help, too. If you bought tickets to the event, you can turn them into a donation, get a refund, or use them for next year's AmFam Week. Zach, thank you. Many hope that this summer will give us a reprieve from the coronavirus. Scientists are divided. Some believe the heat won't matter. Others point to a study at University of Hong Kong that found the virus deteriorated over time when stored in a lab at 72 degrees. Right now, Australia and Singapore are experiencing high temperatures and lower infection rates, but that's not the case everywhere, including New Orleans. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the top infectious disease expert in the U.S. says the coronavirus will continue to do its own thing and that there's no guarantee the weather will come to the rescue. There's been a worldwide trend of decreasing air pollution since the lockdown started. Pollution levels across Europe have remained low with nitrogen dioxide levels falling around 50 percent in some cities. That's according to a statement from the European Space, Space Agency. Paris saw a dramatic drop, 54 percent. That's the most significant in Europe when comparing the same months a year ago. Madrid, Milan and Rome also de decreases about 45 percent. All right, let's get a look at your first worn weather. TV just Gary Canalti with our forecast. I know he's been really trying to focus on severe weather preparedness, Gary. You know, uh, today would have been the statewide tornado drill, but of course that was canceled because of the COVID-19 outbreak. However, we're telling people to go over your severe weather safety rules now while the uh, weather is rel relatively quiet because pretty soon it'll be severe weather time here in uh, southern Wisconsin. Tornado safety at home. Of course, the center of your basement is the best place where you can be. If you have a stairwell or some furniture you can get under, that's about the uh, safer places you can be in your home. Now, if you don't have a basement, put as many walls between you and the outside of the house as possible. So an interior closet or a bathroom in the middle part of your house is the best place to be, staying away as far away from windows as possible. And cover yourself with pillows, cushions, or blankets. These are things you can put in place before you have to go to your safe area. So kind of prepare in advance. And if you live in a mobile home or visiting someone in a mobile home, get out and seek shelter in a sturdy structure. And that means you need to kind of think ahead. You don't need to wait until the storm is coming right at you. You need to make that move before the storm gets to your location. Now, as you take a look at high resolution Doppler radar right now, things very quiet across Wisconsin, but to our south and west, not thunderstorms, not rain, that's snow across Iowa. And that's moving almost due east. And it looks like the northern edge may just kind of skim the Wisconsin Illinois state line. There are winter storm warnings for up to 10 inches of snow over parts of southern Iowa and west central Illinois and winter weather advisories through uh, much of the Chicago area and eastward into Indiana. As far as snowfall totals are concerned, you can see nothing as far as accumulation is expected across southern Wisconsin, but you go just south of the Illinois state line and the amounts start ramping up to several inches, and then you get uh, south of Chicago, and that's where the six 
6-inch amounts may be occurring. So three things you need to know in the forecast. Maybe some flurries down toward the Illinois state line tonight, south of Janesville. I think if you're north of Janesville, Madison, northward, shouldn't see any snow at all. We're, we're still looking for 50s for high temperatures this weekend, upper 50s for Saturday. I lowered Sunday just a bit to the lower 50s, but still should be pretty nice with lots of sunshine. And mainly dry weather, other than a slight chance for a shower Saturday night, we'll have to wait until probably Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday uh, night before we see some shower and thunderstorm chances. That weather system to our south basically moving almost straight east right along the jet stream. So fortunately, it'll stay just to our south. The stationary front divides much milder air to the south to the cooler air to the north. In fact, if we take a look at current temperatures right now, temperatures are in the 70s over southeastern Kansas and in the 30s in the northern part of that state. So again, uh, there's a sharp temperature contrast. We're on the cold side of things, but not cold enough to get snow, at least right now. For tomorrow, look for any lingering snow down toward the Illinois state line to end. High temperature will top out as four, at 49 as we turn partly sunny. And again, any accumulating snow will stay south of the Wisconsin-Illinois state line. As we look at the 7 to 10 day forecast, you can see those temperatures going back up into the upper 50s Saturday, lower 50s for Sunday, but still looking for 60s for much of next week. Some shower and thunderstorm chances Wednesday and Thursday, some shower and thunderstorm chances Saturday, and maybe a few showers on Sunday of next weekend. But at least the weather will be milder at that point. Uh, looking forward to it, Gary. Thank you. Ahead at five, while the future of sports remains unknown due to coronavirus, the NFL says it will be releasing its full schedule. We'll tell you when after a short break. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. And with great deals available, there's never been a better time to buy at your local dealership. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. It started with one man and his father's simple advice. He said, son, make sure the quality of work is worthy of the family name. Over 20 years and thousands of clients later, Fry Construction still follows this advice, giving you the very best craftsmanship for roofing, windows, and gutters. If you want to trust the work done on your home, trust the family name that's behind it. Start with Fry Construction and Home Improvement at FryConstruction.com. Imagine facing Wisconsin's bitter cold winter without a warm home or the blistering heat of summer without power. Then having to make the tough choice between eating or meeting other basic survival needs. Unfortunately, over 200,000 of our neighbors in need will face this difficult decision with no place else to turn, including those who are now unemployed due to the COVID-19 crisis. Keep a neighbor in crisis safely in their home during these difficult times by supporting and donating to the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund today. When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. Spectrum has tons of HD, and we love Spectrum's 24-hour local news channel. Plus, we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-976-4499. Spectrum Internet starts at 200 megabits with no data caps and a free modem. We have to get internet from another company and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of yours. That's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-976-4499. Coming together makes us stronger, and Ford is built to lend a hand. Contact your Ford dealer, an essential part of your community, to find out more about home delivery and other vehicle service options. After all, you have a lot to take care of. Let us help take care of you. Find out more at Ford.com. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 72 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2020 Ford models. 
The National Transportation Safety Board released an accident report on Baseball Hall of Famer Roy Halladay's fatal plane crash. He was flying alone in a small plane when it crashed into the Gulf of Mexico near Tampa in 2017. The report said he had done several aerial stunts and had drugs in his system when he lost control and crashed. It said he had a sleep aid, an amphetamine, an antidepressant, a muscle relaxer, two opioids, and ibuprofen in his system. The levels of Amphetam amphetamine were well above the therapeutic levels. The report said he died of blunt force trauma and drowning. Halliday was 40 years old. NFL still plans to release its 2020 schedule on May 9th. That's according to ESPN. NFL officials said they could make some adjustments if necessary. Commissioner Roger Goodell said the NFL is planning on playing this season. The NFL will have a virtual draft next Thursday. You're going to like this story. A 99-year-old British war veteran is doing something good and is capturing the hearts of millions by raising money for health care workers in the midst of a battle against the coronavirus. A couple of weeks ago, World War II veteran Captain Tom Moore came up with a new way to serve his country. 100 laps of his garden, 10 a day, just in time for his 100th birthday. It's a way of saying thank you to Britain's National Health Service for his new hip and hoping to raise maybe a thousand pounds. That's roughly $1,200. Well, soon people from 53 nations, including the United States, pitched in. By this morning, Captain Tom had raised more than $16 million. Remember, tomorrow is a good day. But, uh, you can, tomorrow you will maybe find everything but much better than today, even if today was all right. Certainly was all right. Captain Tom will celebrate his 100th birthday on April 30th. That is an amazing story, isn't it? We'll have a final check of your first worn forecast in just a moment. Stay with us. Together, we can do this. Our spirit is what unites us. It is what bonds us and reminds us we are all one. Which is why if you need a vehicle during this time, we are offering 0% financing for 84 months with no payments for 90 days. And the ability to shop and buy from the safety of your home. Better days are ahead. And Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram will help you drive forward. Okay, everyone, our mission is to provide complete balanced nutrition for strength and energy. Woo! Great tasting and sure, with 9 grams of protein, 27 vitamins and minerals, and nutrients to support immune health. For almost 50 years, we've built trust within our communities by making customer delight our top priority. That trust allows us to improve lives one home at a time. During this challenging time, we want to make sure your needs are being met without stress by offering two-for-one windows with no interest and no payments for one year. So go ahead, visit us online, or call now from the comfort of home. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for feltco From our family to yours, we want to encourage you to keep going. Keep protecting what's most important. Keep hopeful in the face of all this. Keep believing. Keep being strong. Keep supporting the people on the front line. Keep staying together while staying apart. Keep being fearless. And most of all, keep dreaming. American Family Insurance is mailing our personal auto insurance customers a premium relief payment to help them keep going. We'll keep being here when you need us. In these uncertain times, look after yourself, your family, your friends. But know when it comes to your finances, we are here for you. What can I do for you today? Take a look at the portfolio and make adjustments. I'm free to chat if you have any more questions. Our J.P. Morgan advisors are working from home to help guide you through this. For more than 200 years, we've helped our clients navigate historic challenges. And we will get through this one together. Hi, it's Jan from Toyota. As part of your community, we're here to help you during these challenging times. Keeping your Toyota safe and reliable is important, especially right now. Many of our service centers are open. Schedule service online and drop off and pick up your vehicle with no contact. Need to replace your old vehicle? Most Toyota dealers offer online shopping and will defer your first payment for 90 days. We're here for you. Contact your local Toyota dealer to see how they can help. Toyota. 
During these tough times, all of us at News 3 Now would like to thank every one of the doctors, nurses, medical staff, and first responders throughout our community. Please know that your efforts are recognized and greatly appreciated. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, the new unemployment numbers out tonight, just how many Americans are out of work. And when will the testing and tracing infrastructure be in place so we can reopen America? Plus, the crisis at nursing homes, 17 residents found dead at one facility in New Jersey. What's being done to protect the elderly from coronavirus? And with many Americans falling on hard times, we have an inspiring story of community coming together to help their neighbors pay rent. That's all coming up tonight, right here on the CBS Evening News. And we're taking another live look at an active police scene. This is near Lodi. You can see a lot of officers gathered on Highway K near the interstate. Officers at the scene will not tell us why they are there, but we do know officers continue the search for two escaped inmates considered dangerous by the Department of Corrections. We told you earlier, 37-year-old James Newman, 46-year-old Thomas Deering escaped from Columbia County Correctional this morning, caught a cab to Poinette. Officers believe they were heading south. Our team is at the scene monitoring the situation. We'll be back with another live report at 6. Let's end on a lighter note, shall we? An ultra-rare bouncing baby byproduct of two different species was spotted in the wild. So is it a zebra? Is it a donkey? Well, in reality, it's both. It's a zonkey. This odd-looking foal identified <laughs> at a national park in Kenya. According to the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, mama and baby are thriving. Zonkeys are a rarity, but have been known to be a thing. This is actually a video of one from back in 1981, and more recently, a wildlife preserve in Georgia was home to the birth of their own zonkey. That's what do they think of next? Cool. <laughs> well, at least we're watching right, some snow right. down to ourselves, but that'll stay away from us. See you back here at six, folks.